Hello people, in this video we want to look at chalcosis. What is chalcosis? So um, it is a reaction to an inorganic foreign body and that being copper, okay, in this case. So copper in the eye causes chalcosis. Okay, when uh, we Google for copper in eye, actually we get this, but this is not what it is, okay. Copper in eye as a foreign body, not the color of makeup. So what is chalcosis? It refers to the specific changes produced by the alloy of copper in the eye. Very specific sentence here. Alloy of copper is producing the specific changes in the eye and it is not copper. It is not pure copper. So this is alloy of copper in the eye will result in chalcosis. So is it the result of copper? No. Is it the result of alloy of copper? Yes. Okay, so this is an image showing intraocular copper foreign body causing a sunflower cataract. Okay, this photo looks very weird, isn't it? How come it is so irregular pupil and you can see a sunflower cataract inside? Foreign bodies that cause chalcosis are usually composed of less than 85% copper. This is what is important. It is not pure copper. It has less than 85% copper. Pure copper causes something else called, a, called as superative endophthalmitis. Okay. That's what we have to be clear here. So what are the problems uh, under diseases of cornea? You have chalcosis uh, also causes disease of cornea. Okay. Chalcosis is caused by, caused by what? Alloy of copper. The various features of chalcosis include what in all other features of chalcosis? KF ring. Kais, what is this KF ring? We will come to that. At the Desmet's membrane. Then you have sunflower cataract, which we already saw the photo. Golden metallic brown sheen plate on the retinal pole. On the retinal pole, you will see golden brown metallic sheen plates. So, this is should tell you the golden brown uh, metallic sheen plates on the retinal pole. Okay, so here you have the KF ring at the decimates membrane of the cornea. Then this is sunflower cataract. Cataract means it's affecting what? The lens. Lens of lens is becoming opaque. So lens opacity. Right? KF ring at decimates membrane. This is means what? This is affecting the cornea. Golden brown metallic sheen plates on retinal pole. So these are the various features of chalcosis. Pigmentation of the cornea. A similar deposit of copper forms a green, gray, sorry, gray, green or golden brown pigmented ring around the periphery of the cornea in the region of the Desmet's membrane and the deeper layers of the stroma when copper foreign body is retained. So that is what they are calling as KF ring. Kaiser Fleischer ring. This is also you see in Wilson's disease, isn't it? You can see in the limbus, near the limbus, you can see that brown deposit. This is where in the decimates membrane and some stroma of the cornea. So it is uh, the golden brown pigment. You can remember as golden brown. That will be easier. Golden brown pigment. Periphery of the cornea. In where? In the region of the decimates membrane. The deeper layers of the stroma. So cornea layers, if you remember, this is endo, uh, epithelium, endothelium. Middle you have stroma. Whereas decimates membrane, decimates membrane is here. So what and all are affected here? The decimates membrane and the stroma, deeper layers of the stroma. So somewhere here is the copper deposit. Okay. So copper deposit is here somewhere. So golden brown and that too in the limbus of the cornea only. So that is Kaiser Fleischer ring. KF ring. Kaiser Fleischer ring. Remember the spelling. Otherwise it will become very difficult. K-A-Y-S-E-R. Let's type this. K A Y Kai Sir F L E I S C H E R Kai Sir Fleischer ring. It's a ring. Okay. Then copper. Copper. If it is um, pure, then it will cause violent reaction. What did they call it as? Suppurative. Suppurative. Endophthalmitis. It will cause. That is actually a violent reaction if it is pure copper. But here we are talking about milder reaction because of a heavily alloyed, not just alloyed, heavily alloyed copper. Chalcosis. It's a milder reaction. But it is important for exam. 
chalcosis. Uh, copper, what is happening? The copper is becoming electrolytically dissociated and it is getting deposited where resistance to its migration is offered by continuous membranes. So it is getting deposited. It's it is getting dissociated and deposited. Okay. So wherein all is it depositing, guys? Deeper layers of cornea at the level of decimates membrane. Focus. Guys, it is where it is getting uh, deposited, deep layers of the cornea at the levels of decimates membrane and uh, it causes what this golden brown ring. What is this golden brown ring? Golden brown ring, Kaiser Fleischer ring, which is similar to the ring that you see in Wilson's disease, similar only. Wilson's disease also has excess copper in the body only. Uh, actually, copper metabolism is affected in Wilson's disease. Similarly, here also you will have a copper foreign body that is dissociating. And it is depositing, okay, Kaiser Fleischer ring. Now coming to the lens, what is happening to the lens? You saw that there is a cataract, right? What cataract? Sunflower cataract. Under the capsule of the lens, it gets deposited, right? If it gets deposited under the lens of the eye, then you know where the lens is, right? So if this is the eye, here's the lens, right? Behind the iris. So the lens. Uh, under the capsule of the lens, so the lens is actually within its own capsule. So inside the capsule, you will have the crystalline lens. So they are saying that this uh, copper is getting deposited where? It is deposited under the capsule, okay, to form a brilliant golden sheen, green, golden green sheen aggregated in radiating forms like a petal of flower, sunflower cataract. Okay, so where is it below the capsule and it is sunflower cataract let's take a photo of the sunflower cataract so you are seeing that here sunflower cataract so it's an ocular manifestation occasionally on the retina also some things are happening what is happening on the retina we already saw that lustrous golden plaques which reflect the light in the retina at the posterior pole okay metallic sheen we saw this as there is no chemical combination with the proteins of the cells, degenerative changes do not appear. See, this is safe. This chalcosis is a milder reaction like they said than pure copper. So, pure copper, dangerous. <clears throat> pure copper, dangerous. Iron, dangerous. But alloy of copper is causing all this, but it is not as dangerous as pure copper or iron. If it was pure copper, iron then it would have reacted with the proteins of the cells and it, it would have brought in the degenerative changes but here there is no degenerative change okay let's move on vision remains good mechanism of chalcosis guys uh, copper ions from the alloy we already saw it they dissociate and they deposit under the membrane structures of the eye and uh, unlike copper, they don't enter into any chemical combination with the pro uh, proteins and they don't produce any degenerative change. We saw this. Clinical features of what of chalcosis are three things you have to say. Kaiser Fleischer ring, sunflower cataract in retina, in the posterior pole you will see golden plaque, metallic sheen. So reaction, what is this? This is a reaction to an inorganic foreign body. So, how did this foreign body get there? <clears throat> that is something you have to think. Look at the allo alloys of copper. You have bronze, right? Bronze has 80% copper. And brass has 60% copper. So, bronze, brass, all these have copper. And uh, German silver or nickel silver also has copper. So, these three are the alloys of copper that you should be concerned about. Pure copper will cause even violent reaction, but that is not under chalcosis. Chalcosis is alloys of copper. Isn't it? Remember people, if it is copper alloy, the reaction is called as chalcosis. If it is because of iron, it is called as siderosis bulby, which we are not looking at in this video. Toxic cataract. So, what is this type of cataract? Sunflower cataract. It is a toxic cataract because it is because of copper in chalcosis. Sunflower cataract. That's it people, let's take a recap. So copper deposit is chalcosis. This is alloy of copper if it is penetrating the eye or some foreign body in the eye. So then it can be causing chalcosis because uh, the of the alloy of copper, what happens? It dissociates and deposits where? In the 
Desmet's membrane deep stroma uh, in the cornea around the limbus. It is called as KF ring, Kaiser Fleischer ring, as similar to what you see in Wilson's disease. There is sunflower cataract because under the capsule you have the deposit of copper, so it will cause cataract lens opacity. Uh, this is again toxic cataract, they are using the word, right? In the retina also, you can see metallic sheen, which metallic sheen, golden brown. But the good thing here is there is nothing other than this. There is no protein uh, reaction, etc. So there is no vision loss as such because of this uh, retina uh, becoming metallic sheen. Okay. Here you have to remember the spelling of Kaiser. K Kaiser. Kaiser flies her ring. Okay. Lens you have seen and retina also you saw how it is affecting, right? Then mechanism we told you dissociate deposit. That's it guys, nothing more to write here. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.